right? Yep, that's Here's me. Here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do. Let me give you this stuff back to start. Okay. I have another officer on the way out here with a camera. Okay. I've never seen anything like this, so I want him to get photographs. Really? Uh, training. Look, Absolutely. Okay. Well, well, then can I get a picture of you getting me pulled over then? Like, yeah. an, Okay, cool. Yeah. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the channel. Hope that you all are having a great day. It's a little bit of a cold one here, but uh, we're going to have fun regardless. There goes a Ford. I'm in a neighborhood full of them. Anyway, this video is in fact brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club, as you guys may or may not know, always been a great sponsor of the channel and always happy to have them. Everybody has a morning routine they like. Now for me, I like to take the shower first. Some people do the teeth brushing first. I think the shower is the right move. Whatever your morning routine is, whether you do the teeth brushing first or the shaving or the deodorant or the shower, Dollar Shave Club has you covered. Now, I bet you think from the name Dollar Shave Club, they only do shaving, but they actually have branched out and they do a lot more than that. Basically, if you have a body and different body parts, Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. I'm talking about this right now because at this moment, they have a great offer going on where you can get their shave, shower, or oral starter set for only five bucks each. Not only do they ship everything to your house, but the more you buy, the more you save, and they're calling this the handsome discount. The shave starter set comes with their executive razor and a three ounce tube of Dr. Carver's shave butter, which by the way, is my favorite product from them. I do use it literally every time I shave. It's great stuff. The oral care starter set comes with their weighty toothbrush and a trial size version of their toothpaste. Then last but not least, you got the shower starter set. It comes with three trial size versions of their amber lavender body cleanser, citrus and Hawaiian ginger face cleanser, and the sage and black pepper shampoo. This is exactly what I was talking about, their shave butter. This is really, really good stuff. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely check it out. The, the kit is worth it just for that and uh, their razor, which I use as well. I've been using their shaving stuff for a while and I was happy to try out the new stuff as well. And I'm happy to report that everything is you know, really good. The quality is the same across the board. So if you happen to be in the market for anything that makes you smell good or look good or just be hygienic, which I hope everybody is, go ahead and give Dollar Shave Club a try today. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash streetspeed717. That is dollarshaveclub.com slash streetspeed717. And like I said, they've been a sponsor of me for a long time, which I definitely appreciate. So if you guys want to check them out and support them as well, that'd be awesome. Once again, it's only five bucks, so use my link and try it out. And what I got for you today as we're going to get into the upload um, is something that I didn't have planned, of course. You never plan these things. Maybe some people do, I don't. But uh, basically what happened is my mom recently moved and she moved uh, to a township that is much more uh, stringent on vehicle modifications, especially when it comes to tires, tint, and things like that. And you know, I've been over at her place and I've been moving stuff and visiting and I kept thinking to myself, you know, eventually my luck is gonna run out because I know these officers over here look for this kind of stuff because they're very strict. And well, today my luck finally did run out. This guy was very nice. I wanna say that off the bat, very professional. And again, you know, it's not something that I ever get mad about at this point because I know my truck is illegal. It's my fault and I don't shift the blame on anybody else. Um, you know, I, I like my truck to have a crazy stance. I don't drive it that often. It's usually not a big deal. It was one of the funniest pullovers I've ever, I think probably the funniest one I've ever had. I don't know how much footage is going to come through. My phone, for whatever reason, kept like shutting off. So hopefully I have most of it. I don't know as I tell the story right now because I haven't had a chance to look at the footage. Anyway, you know, he comes up to the window, same song and dance every time uh, with, with any pullover. You know, do you know why I pulled you over? I think I said about the tires. I'm pretty sure the phone was on for that part. Oh. Pulled over. How you doing, Officer Belladary? Good, Tom's how are you doing? License, registration, proof of insurance on you? I do. The reason I have you stopped is for the tires on the truck. Oh, no. And for the uh, license plate cover in the back. Oh, no. Then I had to turn off the video because I had to get my insurance on the phone, which is nice in PA. You can do that. You don't have to carry around the paper card. You can just look it up. Um, and then, you know, we, we get to talking, he goes back to his car and I'm sitting there thinking and I record some stuff. This guy was really cool about it. Uh, I knew it was coming. I'm dr oh, <laughs> that was uh, Tony and his Dodge and we knew it was coming at some point. I'm driving through uh, Derry Township, which is pretty, they're a little bit tougher than some of the places around here. And, uh, you know, I'm really not upset about it. We knew it was all, we all knew it was going to happen. We all knew it was ultimately only a matter of time and this guy was, like I said, very nice and clearly I'm not upset about it. I know the truck is very illegal. And he actually said, I don't normally get people for tires, but yours are the most ridiculous I've seen, which I think is a, that's a compliment. So this is the widest truck he's seen a, around. 
pretty happy about that. Actually, uh, really nice though. We're here. This is not the the officer who pulled me over is uh, Derry Township, which is like the whole area. But this is Hummelstown's little uh, police department building, and they have this safe exchange place, which I think is neat, and more places should have here, which is cool. It's all on camera. They have a camera, a light, and everything, so you can do like Craigslist deals and stuff like that, which is neat. I don't know. I just think that's uh, a cool like community thing you don't normally see. But I'm still waiting on my ticket. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. We'll see, I guess. He comes back, he's got my paperwork, he's got my tickets and everything, and then he says, you know, do you mind like waiting for a second if you could turn off the truck and wait because I have somebody coming with me. Um, I have another person coming to take pictures for training. And I was like, like for training to what to look out for, obviously. And he was like, yeah, you know, like I've never seen anything quite like this before. Michael, right? Yep, that's Here's me. Here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do. Let me give you this stuff back to start. Okay. I have another officer on the way out here with a camera. Okay. I have never seen anything like this, so I want him to get photographs. Really? That's training. Look, Absolutely. Okay. Well, well, then can I get a picture of you getting me pulled over then? Yeah. Like an, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut you a major break. Okay. Right? You're gonna get a warning card for everything on this truck. I, pre I appreciate that. I'm gonna write you for covering the tip license plate. Is getting a picture on me so you can put it up on the wall down at the station. And then you'd be like, hey, if any of you guys see this truck, pull this asshole over. That's what's gonna, that's why you're taking the picture. That's probably the worst, uh, I shouldn't say the worst, but that is, that is the widest tire I've seen. It went with no fender players whatsoever. <laughs> that, she's a big girl. <laughs> With the, well, it, it, looks, hard, it wasn't hard to spot it three well, with, of miles. I meant with the 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 <laughs> But it was it was narrower then. And um if you would have if you would have twelves on this, I probably would have just been like, eh. Twelves weren't too bad. They were only at about two inches. Yeah. But like I said, I the, you took up the entire lane. <laughs> Go down. this thing's wider than the than our than the Humvee that we have at station. That's awesome. So like I said, here, I'll, I'll get you this paper. Okay. Quick. This is hilarious. So this is going to be used in police training on, if you see anything like this, pull it over, essentially, is what's happening, I, I guess. But that's great. 7G. Uh-huh. And it had wide set tires, but nothing. Like I said, this is... It's wide. And that's pretty crazy because my truck is not that like, you know, if you go go to Florida or Texas or anywhere in the South, whatever, my truck is like small. But around here, you very rarely see anybody running that type of stance because it is illegal and you will get pulled over. Um, but you know, my truck, and that's not even wide. I'm only on 14 wides on a 375 tire. You can go, there's guys running 16s now. Around here, it is kind of rare. So I'm not trying to say like, my truck is so crazy. It's the coolest thing on the planet. Just around here, you don't see it very often. So the other officer comes up, and again, I don't know how much footage I have, but he pulls up, he gets out, he's got his camera, he's taking pictures, and he's taking, you know, he's got all the pictures of the truck, the side profile, the front, the back, and they were, you know, talking about how, like, all the different stuff on it they could write a ticket for. The exhaust, apparently, is, is illegal as well um, because it doesn't stick out past the body, which is true. I didn't think of that, uh, which I didn't think it mattered for diesels, but that is, I think, I'm, well, they would know, but I'm pretty sure that is true on that one as well. Uh, but anyway, you know, ended up having a, a great conversation. The guy, both of them were into it. They were like, you know, unfortunately it is illegal, but we like it. The stance is cool. And they were asking me, you know, how long I've had it. You know, did I buy it like that? And, you know, I walked them through the whole thing. I got it. I think it was 20 when I got it. Uh, it was bone stock. Of course, it's been through so much since I bought it and it's been my dream truck, you know, my favorite vehicle that I own. And the one guy was like, yeah, I've been looking at a 7.3 Power Stroke, which is great. I told him that that's a great decision. 7.3s are, are awesome. That should last forever. And uh, yeah, apparently my truck is literally going to be used. And this, I think this is a really huge accomplishment. This, like I'm actually, <laughs> sadly, I'm very proud of this. My truck is going to be used as training material for what officers should look out for when writing traffic citations. That is epic. I will try to limit my driving through that township as much as possible. Um, but I, I feel like we may have another run in at some point, but on a real note, it was a fun experience. And anytime you get pulled over and you can say like it was fun or funny, I feel like that's a win. And, uh, I got a warning card. I got a little warning card, which just a warning. I don't have to do anything. 
And I think I got like a tint uh, violation, which is like 90 bucks. And they could have wrote me for a lot. You know, some people might be like, oh, they give you a ticket. Well, you know, truthfully, they're being very nice by not giving me a ticket for like 18 different things because they're just doing their job. There you go, we got pulled over in the Dirty Max once again. It's been a while. It was uh, last time I got pulled over in that was when I dropped Parker off at the airport the last time he was up here on the way home. I think that was about four or five months ago. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, the Duramax always, uh, always on the run from the law. If you enjoyed this upload, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Take care and have a great day.